Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own custom route files. So Laravel makes adding routes to your application super easy, but sometimes your routes file can get a little cluttered and it can be a little cumbersome and difficult to deal with. But if you add your own custom route files, that can clean things up and make it a lot more organized. So let's go ahead and just start things off by creating a new Laravel app. So I'm just gonna say Laravel new, and I'm just gonna call this custom routes. Okay, and after we have our new Laravel app, we can then CD into that folder, and I'm going to open this up in my text editor. Okay, and I'm also using Laravel Valet, so if I were to open up in my browser and go to custom routes.test, then sure enough, we just have a plain Laravel app in front of us. So let's go ahead and dig into the code. And as you know, our routes are inside of the routes folder, and we have API channels console and web.php where we put most of our routes. So let's say I'm gonna create a bunch of routes that really aren't going to make sense. We create a route that's hello Tony, and this will probably go to a method, but instead I'm just gonna create a closure, and I'm just gonna say hello Tony. And then I'm just gonna duplicate this a few times. And like I said, these routes are probably not real routes that you would create, but I'm just going to create it just so I can show you this functionality. And let's say this one is hello Tom. And sure enough, if we go to our application and we go to these routes, they are going to resolve to the correct place. So we can say hello Tony, hello John, and hello Tom. So whenever your application gets pretty big, you probably have a whole bunch of routes inside of your routes web.php, and that can get really messy. Uh, so what we can do instead is we can create our own file that will then be prefixed with a certain URL and have a bunch of other cool functionality along with it. So let's go ahead and just copy this and let's create a new file. And I'm just going to save this as hello.php. And this is where all of our hello routes are going to go. And then what we need to do is we need to make sure that this file gets loaded. So we need to go into our app providers and our route service provider. And if we scroll down, you can see that we have map web routes right here. And we also have our map API routes. So let's go ahead and just copy this. And I'm going to call map hello routes. And then here we want to prefix this with hello. And maybe we want to have a specific middleware. But in this case, I'm just going to take out the middleware. Then we have a namespace. And then we tell it where we want to load this route file from. So I'm going to say this is going to be inside of our routes. Hello. Dot PHP. And the last thing that we'll want to do is we will want to include this to this map function right here. So we'll say that we also want to include this and we want to map hello routes. So let's go ahead and save that. And one more thing that I need to do is take off this prefix. So I can take off this hello prefix. And now we should be able to go to each of these routes like we did before. So I can go to hello slash Tom, I can go to hello slash Tony, and I can go to hello slash John. And you can see that our routes web.php doesn't have any additional routes, and we can organize our routes a lot better by creating these separate route files. So this was just a quick video to show you how you can organize your routes in your Laravel app by creating some custom route files. I hope this video helps you out in organizing your Laravel app a little bit better. And uh, if you haven't yet, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also check out devdoja.com for a lot more videos on Laravel, PHP, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and anything else web dev related. But until next time, I will talk to you in a future video.